On June 24, 2021, Microsoft announced their newest flagship operating system to the world, Windows 11. Microsoft released a 45 minute video to introduce the new operating system to the public. But in today's video, I'm gonna break down the changes that matter the most in language you can understand. So far, looks pretty new and amazing, right? We'll get into all that in a second. If you would like to watch the full Microsoft press announcement, click on the card above and then come back for the layman's version and my interpretation and opinion. So Microsoft has implemented into Windows 11 seven significant feature changes. They've also indicated some hardware and performance improvements as well, but I have not seen any statistics or benchmarks yet that validate this claim. We'll save that for a future episode, hopefully. So number one, Windows has a completely new look. They've improved the login security. They've relocated the familiar start button and taskbar icons to the center of the screen, very much like Mac OS on an Apple. They've introduced significant cloud integration into the documents and apps that you use on a regular basis. And very similar to browser synchronization between your PC and your phone, which has been done for quite some time already. Well, now it's integrated into Windows 11. Significant design changes include new high resolution icons, transparent windows, new colors, new textures, pretty much everything cosmetically you could do has been done. Smoother animation and transitions between active windows has been improved and enhanced. There are new desktop themes to personalize your desktop, as well as all new high definition wallpapers. Windows 11 now also gives you the option to switch between light mode and dark mode. Rounded corners on apps and open windows is now a standard, which does seem a little bit more elegant to me. And it also seems to try and duplicate what already exists on the Mac. Number two, Windows 11 was designed to allow easy switching from a laptop to an external monitor and back, which I find pretty convenient. The Windows search bar lets you search not just your PC now, but also the Microsoft Store or even the web. With your machine connected to a Microsoft account, Windows Start utilizes the cloud and uses what's called M365 to allow easier real-time active synchronization between your devices. Windows 11 has better snapping and docking features also now. Snap layouts are a unique new feature that allow you to choose where you want certain windows to stay while you're working and these settings are all synchronized across your Microsoft connected devices. Now, when you disconnect from an external monitor, those saved window layouts immediately duplicate on your laptop. And now, when you reconnect your external monitor, those saved layouts immediately go back to the larger screen exactly the way you left them. If you have to step away from your PC for a while, a new feature called Snap Groups remembers and stores all the different groupings of open windows for you without you having to go back and reorganize all your active windows. There's also a new feature in Microsoft Edge called Vertical Tabs. This basically allows you to have all your open tabs along the side of your browsing window instead of across the top. The advantage to this is that you can see the full title of your tabbed windows versus maybe just a few letters when they're aligned horizontally. Windows 11 also integrated multiple desktops on one machine, and this is something I really like. It allows you to have different spaces for your different needs. So for example, you can have one desktop for your business needs, your application and your saved files, and then you can have another for your gaming needs with shortcuts to your favorite games and more. And for anyone that has mixed icons all over your desktop for both business, personal, gaming, etc., this is a great new feature. I know I'm looking forward to this quite a bit as I use my personal computer for all of the above, and I absolutely hate having to dig through folder after folder and hundreds of desktop icons to find what I'm looking for. Number three, Microsoft really went all in on this next feature. Because of the pandemic, millions of people were forced to work from home and used either Zoom or Skype or Teams to communicate with their coworkers, but also with friends and family. And now, Microsoft Teams is not a separate application to purchase and install. It is integrated into Windows 11 as a standard feature. That's pretty cool. Number four, adaptability. Windows has made dramatic enhancements for touch-enabled devices. 
They've added bigger touch targets to cut down on accidental clicks on the wrong icon or window. Now resizing and moving different windows around your screen is much easier, and the animation and smoothness of the motion has been improved as well. Action gestures are similar to what you use on your cell phone if you use two or three finger swiping. Using a stylus pen has been improved as well, including options to highlight complete sentences. When using a Windows 11 tablet without a keyboard, a phone style swipe screen has been implemented as well as the option for emojis. This is really cool if you're used to texting a lot. They have also added voice recognition for speech to text and new Windows widgets allow you to fully customize what's interesting to you from your favorite sports team, celebrity updates, local news, national headlines, or just any keyword based widgets that fit your lifestyle and things that you find interesting. Another great feature is Windows 11 Wireless Connect, which allows you to quickly send what's on your tablet directly to your wireless capable TV for larger screen viewing. You can have Netflix playing on your tablet and with a little flick of the wrist, it goes to your TV. That's pretty cool. Number five is a really hot topic for a lot of you and that's gaming. The graphics have been improved on Windows 11 using a technology created for the Xbox called Auto HDR. Now look at this side-by-side -side comparison of standard resolution versus the auto HDR feature. That's pretty amazing to me. There's been over a thousand games in the Microsoft Store that are automatically enhanced with auto HDR. And speed has been improved using another Xbox technology called Direct Storage. Now this technology allows for games to load and run faster during gameplay by running directly off the GPU or graphics card as well as the SSD drive inside the machine. However, there are a couple caveats. First, the games have to be designed to use this technology, so it's up to the developers. And only the newest NVMe drives will be able to run direct storage. More on that in another video for the full technical breakdown. Just know that it won't be an absolute for every Windows PC. Microsoft has created Xbox Game Pass, which allows gamers to select from thousands of different titles to download and play immediately on their Windows 11 PC. Microsoft has also added further support for millions of external gaming peripherals, including Bluetooth controllers, headsets, driving wheels, joysticks, and more. Number six, the new and improved Microsoft Store. Now, Microsoft is now making it much easier for developers to submit their apps and programs to the store for purchase by consumers. They're also adding 32-bit support for more basic programs. Additionally, Microsoft is now accepting many more varieties of compiled code, as well as not forcing you to host that code on Microsoft servers for up to a 17% cut of your profit. So if you are an app, program, or game developer, this is pretty amazing news for you. And finally, number seven, Android apps on your PC. Yes, you heard this right. With all versions of Windows before 11, you could only go to the website of your favorite social media app. Now you can run these apps natively on your PC, just like you do on your cell phone. So Netflix, Pinterest, TikTok, Spotify, pretty much any Android app you can run on your phone, you'll now be able to run on your PC. These apps can be found in the Microsoft App Store via the Amazon App Store that's integrated into it. Now Microsoft has also informed us that Windows updates would be 40% smaller, They'll load in the background, so no more blue screen wait times the first time your computer fires up. And they've also advised us that apps like Microsoft Edge will open much faster than before. Now again, I'm waiting to see some benchmarks on these claims before going much further on this topic. So those are the biggest changes coming to you through the new Windows 11 operating system. But before you go running to download it, there are a couple things you need to know. One, not all computers will be able to run Windows 11. There are a couple hardware requirements that you need that any machine more than about three years old might not have. I'll make a video about those requirements soon so you'll be able to check and see if you can get and run Windows 11 on your computer. The new Windows 11 will also be available as a free download for all Windows 10 users later this year, most likely in October or November. There is a way to get it sooner than that if you want to try it out now. More on that later. So I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the new Windows 11 operating system. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these new changes. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel to get more content delivered to you like this every week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.